Assalamualaikum. First of all, my name is Nur Shazana Alia Binti Ramisi and my metric number is A21A2900. So, I will start the presentation with the data description. In this data set, we have chosen four variables which is liter per 100, KPL, weight and brand. And in this data set also, we have chosen randomly 150 from the SPSS. The measurement of these four variables, which is liter per 100, KPL and weight is a ratio measurement, while for the brand is a nominal measurement. And there is analysis that conducted in four variables. So that's all for data description. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Zulkifli bin Sudirman and my matrix number is A21, A25, 9 2.0 which is a sampling data and recorded data. The table 1 shows that first and last 10 observations were chosen at random from 156 in data set in SPSS. Okay, the next part which is in table 2 show the descriptive variable that we chosen to conduct this case which is a liter per 100 KPL wage and brand. This data was included in data given from SPSS system. The table on the right side is for the liter per 200 which we change it from ungrouped data to group data. Both of table KPL1 and wage was the frequency percent valid percent cumulative we, that we change from uh, ungrouped data to group data from SPSS system. Last but not least was the table for brand 1 frequency percent valid and cumulative from SPSS system. 3.0 numerical descriptive 3.1 measure of central tendency we use mean, median and mode. The first one is mean for the little per 200. This result show us the mean for the liter per 200 is 6.39. The next part is median. The median formula is n divided by 2. We get the 75 of observation. The class median is 4.84 until 6.40. Class with lower boundary is 4.34. C, 6.9. Minus 4.34, we get a 2.56. For the calculation, we get the median is 6.05. Thus, the median of the liter per 200 is 6.75. For the mode calculation, we use the class median is 4.84 until 6.40. Class with lower boundary is 4.34. Class 6.9 minus 4.34, we get 2.56. So the answer for the mode is the highest of the liter per 200 is 5.72. For 3.2, measure of position, we use frequency 150. Quartile calculation, we use quartile 1 and quartile 3. For the formula, quartile 1 is n divided by 4, we get the answer. 37.5 the class interval is 4.84 until 6.4 for the quartile 3 we use a formula 3n divided by 4 and we get the answer 112.5 the class interval is which is 6.41 until 7.9 for the interquartile range the formula is quartile 3 minus quartile 1 we get the answer is 1.96 Last but not least is 3.3, measure of variation. In this part, the measure of variation have two formula, which is a range and the standard deviation. For the formula range is maximum data entry minus minimum data entry, and we get a 7.85. For the standard deviation, we get a 47.20. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Intan Norena binti Mamashim. 
and the metric is A twenty one A two five zero C. Now I will continue the presentation about graphical representation. In this part, our group choose to create a histogram and or GIF to show the data. For the histogram is referred as frequency distribution of data set that was invested by the car person, and this histogram also referred as liter per two hundred. Why for the or GIF is line graph where it display the cumulative frequency. It was referred as a KPI one, but before we create the histogram and or GIF, we must first find the value of the lower boundaries, upper boundaries, midpoint frequency, and the value of the cumulative frequency. Then create it using that data. In conclusion, it about two hundred expectedly show car of various brand are less used for travel anymore, and for KPI one show in about 140 km per liter travel distance have been passed by various types of car brands. My name is Mama Irham BS3 and my metric number is A21A2659. So for 5.1, this table shows the table of numerical descriptive measure of mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, range, and percentile by using SPSS and by calculating them manually. The result shows that the data from both tables is not same because the SPSS cannot read the data accurately. The table also shows that the manual calculation are much smaller than by using SPSS. Next, for 5.2, the hypothesis testing is a process to compare null hypothesis to see whether they should be rejected or not. And the null hypothesis is rejected when its probability falls below the predetermined significance level. And the table shows one sample test to refine our hypothesis and the other table shows ANOVA, the analysis of variance, a method to compare variance across these for additional tests and it shows significant difference among the treatments. Explanation for scatter plot. Label the horizontal axis of the graph as little per 100 and the vertical axis as weight. As a consequence, we know the graph is presenting little per 100 and weight data. A broad view of the scatter plot reveals that the data point tend to cluster in an upward motion from left to right. The growth is not remarkable but there is a clear upward tendency. We may assert that the data are positively related since the scatter plot indicates an increase from left to right. As a result, we may draw the conclusion that liter per hundred and weight are positively correlated. Explanation of correlation analysis The value of R between liter per hundred and weight is 0.716. Based on the correlation value, we can conclude that there is strong correlation between liter per hundred and weight. There is no significant correlation between liter per hundred and weight. Explanation of confidence interval 99% The descriptive output table that our 99% confidence interval for the mean confidence in liter per hundred has been calculated. The lower bound is set at 6.0924 and the upper bound is set at 6.6625. The difference between upper bound and lower bound for the 9900 confidence interval for the mean confidence in liter per hundred is 0 0.5701 the 99 percent confidence interval for the mean confidence in weight has been calculated the lower bound is set at 3.78324 and the upper bound is set at 3.9963 the difference between upper bound and lower bound for the 99% confidence interval for the mean confidence in weight is 0 0.21639. Explanation of confidence in interval 95%. The descriptive output table that our 95% confidence interval for the mean confidence in liter per hundred has been calculated. The lower bound is set at 6.1616 and the upper bound is set at 6.5933 The differences between upper bounds and lower bounds for the 95% confidence interval for the mean confidence in little per hundred is 
then 95% confidence interval for the mean confidence in weight has been calculated. The lower bound is set at 3.80950 and the upper bound is set at 3.97337. The difference between upper bounds and lower bounds for the 95% confidence interval for the mean confidence in weight is 0.16387 Next for the prediction modeling For model summary the R square value is 0.505 which is 50.5% of the variation in brand 1 can be explained by the liter per 100 KPL and weight the adjust R square value which is 49.5% and the Durbin Watson is 2.023 the p-value from the ANOVA table is less than 0.001, which means that at least one of the three variables, which is liter per 100, KPL, and weight that can be used to be a model brand. Lastly, for the coefficient table, the p-value between the liter per 100 and KPL are significant predictors of the brand. So that's all from me for prediction modeling. In conclusion, this report has teach our group using a right way of data set. And we choose 150 random data from 156 data set in SPSS. And also 4 variables, which is data per 100, KPL, weight and brand to complete this report. SPSS data are used to measure mean, median and mode for little per 200. The results show mean at 6.39 median. 6.75 and more 5.72 this rubber also used to measure of position and also measure of variation next this report also include a histogram and organic graphical this is important to person who analyzing data because it may more effective in comparing and understand data our group also use two different way to measure numerical descriptive which is data per 100 it using SPSS software and manually, but value of this have a big difference because SPSS cannot read all data accurately. The ANOVA also being calculated in hypothesis testing. In other hand, the report shows an evidence of scatter plot regarding strong correlation between liter per 100 and weight, while in 95% and 99% confident interval May result mean for weight is lower than liter per 100 at 0.16387 and 0.4317 respectively. Lastly, regarding coefficients, brand expected to decrease by 0.731 and provide other variable remain unchanged. I think that's all from me. Thank you.